Okay, what is up YouTube? What is up? We are back and yes, we are checking out Sonic 2. Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So this came in cinemas. Went, I was waiting to watch this at some point, but I said, look, I need to watch the first Sonic film before I watch Sonic 2. So I watched the first Sonic film beforehand, um, before watching Sonic 2. I have to admit, the first Sonic film was way better than Sonic 2. Um, the first film focused more on his guy's little backstory. Like the fact that they did actually stick with this design, the first design was just stupid. But yeah, uh, they fixed, focused more on his backstory. Uh, they did justice, you know, looking at his speed, um, uh, looking at his abilities, the whole slow mo stuff. Uh, the jokes paid off way better, and I loved the actual video game credits. The video game credits for Sonic were awesome. Um, just check that stuff out. This mm, game credits. Credits, uh, yeah. So the stuff like this with the video game credits, really good. I really, really enjoyed this stuff at the end. You know, they're actually showing the movie and this sort of stuff. This was awesome. So I love the stuff about the first, first movie. Really enjoyed it, and I was pumped to see the second one. I was like, you know what? I hope Sonic Two is gonna be as good as the first one. First one wasn't the best film out there, but it, I really enjoyed it. Um, anyway, went to the movie a bit late. Uh, because I had stepped into um, the wrong cinema and um, it wasn't the wrong, it was the white cinema but it was the wrong screen so I stepped to the wrong screen and there was like one person sitting there and I was like five minutes into it I was like there's no one else is here what the fuck and the movie hasn't even started what's going on here I jumped out of there and I realised oh shit I'm in the wrong fucking I'm, in, I'm meant to be in screen two not screen three so then went into it a bit late so I'm at the part I'm not sure how much I've actually missed of the film so I was at the part where they had this whole bank heist and Sonic's basically thought in their attempt at this bank heist so he does this whole sort of thing where he takes the entire vehicle apart loved it, great, great scene uh, went with my little son as well so you know I told him you know beforehand as well showed him some Sonic cartoons and he knew who Sonic was and he was like going Sonic I was like yeah that's a Sonic, that's a Sonic <laughs> so yeah decided to go with my son because you know I'm not going to go by myself take a kid with me as well because there'll be other kids there as well and it feels a bit out of place when watching a Sonic film even though I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Sega guy at heart I grew up with this fucking stupid blue hedgehog love Sonic and I'm always going to love Sonic as a character um, you know he's you know, it's, a, it's a shame that you know the Sega has done what they've done but you know and it's not really a video game company that anymore it's just some fucking show where it used to be uh, but what can you do? Stuff happens. I'm not going to go too into it anyway. But yeah. So um, as soon as that happened, as soon as that scene happened, quickly the film just declined for me as well. You know, I would have preferred you know, this film to be so much more. You know, I, I saw the banners of it being like the number one film in the UK. Great. It's great for kids. But it just wasn't good. It just wasn't good. I mean, I wish they focused more on Sonic. But instead, they, they quickly just focused on him, him, his family, the Hawaii stuff. It was great. I loved this part where he sent he sent his family away to Hawaii. They would have focused more on him. The whole mum and dad's crazy wedding stuff was just completely pointless. I uh, love the nostalgia stuff from the first movie. Uh, the first movie had some great nostalgia stuff as well. Loved the sort of stuff from the, from the first movie. But then this movie just didn't hit the mark. It felt a bit cringy. You know, the best jokes were about you know the Rock and Vin Diesel had literally no had no, when that when that joke hit. There was barely any any response from any of the audience so uh, I felt the audience was basically more kid it was literally full of kids anyway so I mean that's what you kind of ex you know, expect from that sort of stuff to happen but yeah there was barely anything there anyway so um, the jokes just didn't, just didn't hit uh, the whole sort of the other stuff it just it just felt just cringy really really cringy um, and it didn't land it didn't land and uh, the audience just didn't respond either uh, the during the entire midsection of the film people I just noticed people yawning Dozens of people just left and people just felt it was just boring and there was a lot of people just leaving the cinema, coming back, going to the toilet, having their own little intermission basically because the middle was just that boring. It was just, what's the point of this fucking film then? Um, towards the end, it eventually picked up, which is good. Whole, you know, I love seeing Jim Carrey as Robotnik. He played the character great. You know, um, the, the whole uh, him with his floss and rap didn't work for me. Uh, kind of was also very cringy as well. The whole Serbian dance thing was just stupid. I would have loved to see Sonic and uh, Tails. The whole I would have loved to see like a slow motion thing. So uh, there's a scene where uh, the people basically get offended by Tails apparently unable to translate 
um, Russian dialect from his little translator he makes. He offends them and instead them being chucked into flames, I would have loved to see a slow motion thing and then doing some cool sort of stuff with uh, with Sonic slow-mo sort of stuff. Tails with this tech as well would have been awesome in that bar, but instead a Serbian dance off with like Bruno Mars, you know, just it didn't work for me. It was just just ridiculous. Um, the whole thing with Stone as well, you know, what the hell is up with Stone? You know, his old minion he has basically. Uh, I would have loved to have seen Stone, which is like something like Stone. I would have loved to see Stone, this guy here. I would have loved to see him basically just backstabbing Robotnik. You know, it would have been such a good, good sort of thing. You know, you know, Stone does all this sort of stuff to uh, basically preserve, uh, you know, his love for for his his idol essentially. You know, the whole stuff with him doing the stuff with the with the, with the coffee drawing. You know. Uh, Robotnik's face it's great love that sort of stuff you know this whole man crush that he has about him was great but I would have loved to see some sort of payoff with you know with Robotnik saying you know you don't matter to me I don't care about you but instead you know him feeling so sort of like betrayed in a sense uh, but then he betrays Robotnik would have been great uh, would have been a much better angle as well and then also his actions lead to Robotnik losing the uh, the emerald because the whole point is of this movie is that Robotnik uh, teams up with Knuckles who helps him get off the island. I didn't actually see that part at the very beginning. I'm not sure for how much I've actually missed of the film. I'm going to have to go, to go watch the beginning of the film because I've completely missed it. But yeah, um, he has an alliance with um, with Knuckles uh, to uh, essentially uh, find this Master Emerald. And um, I would have loved uh, seeing him betray Robotnik, Stone betraying Robotnik and um, Instead of basically Sonic uh, and Tails being the distraction and then Knuckles punches the Emerald out of Robotnik, it just didn't work for me. Uh, the whole thing with like Wade, was it Wade Wimple? Is it Wade Whipple? Whatever his name is. Uh, Wade Whipple basically, you know, taking this guy hostage. Like, this guy has his own sort of like cafe thing now called Meme Bean Coffee, I think it was called. But yeah, um, would have been cool to see, um, you know, something a bit different. The whole Wade thing was just stupid. And the whole thing with, I don't know how this plotline works, but so Wade apparently ties him up to a chair or something, and then this task force from the government called Gun shows up basically out of nowhere, and how they were infiltrating the wedding, you know, it just didn't, didn't work. It just did not work for me. That was side note as well. Uh, so many times, yeah, so many times Sonic could have quite easily used his super speed to get out of any sort of problem. So, you know, there's this stuff with like him basically going down a mountain, you know, stuff like that. You know, I don't understand. Why are you using a snowboard? It's not flipping Sonic Riders. What are you doing? You know, quite easily, he's got these weapon target weapons that are targeting him. He's done in the first film. He does slow motion sort of stuff where he's super, super fast. They don't do it in this film. I don't know why. I really don't understand why they restrict his super speed. I just don't understand. Anyway, towards the end of the film, things finally pick up. You have uh, Tails with his plane, um, and then you have Robotnik with his giant robot. Finally, it picks up, you know, um, and then Sonic, towards the end, becomes Super Saiyan, Super Sonic. Uh, Harness the power for the Master Emerald. Uh, the whole thing with the family thing was stupid, you know. Oh, oh yeah, I, 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 family, familiar, you know, fuck man. You've done enough Windows references, I think one's enough. You know, whole more family sort of stuff was getting on my nerves, to be honest. Uh, but then... The, the crystal comes together and then it infuses with Sonic and Sonic becomes Super Sonic. Um, didn't, didn't really quite work for me, you know, but what can you do? Uh, and then also, um, the whole Tails, it was, I kind of felt it was really stupid as well. You know, how like, Tails uses some of his tech, you know, without... And then also, the, the other people, that were side characters in the film as well. You know, them using basically like, Tails' tech and how, just random sort of stuff to do. Look, you've got these guys that now infiltrating this this government trained agents the entire thing was stupid and then thing as well the whole anti-gravity thing was a bit dumb you know you just use this anti-gravity gun this guy's falling into the sky and then he falls back down into a into a this table wedding table has minimal injuries i understand why they've done it to keep this entire thing pg and everything but then it's like what, what's the point what is seriously what is the point you've kept it all pg and everything but instead they, they started doing that, which was, uh, I guess, that. Um, but yeah, uh, they, they kept a PG for that reason, and that's why you don't see that sort of stuff. 
uh, again i would have i loved the ending again as well the video game credits again like i said i loved it about the first film um it was a real shame because towards the end of the film you know uh, me and there was three other people literally sat through the post credit scene and they actually saw the scene with shadow you know to be honest the whole shadow scene i wish uh, they do a good job with that i want them to actually focus more on the um for all intents and reasons i want to focus more on the source material uh keep it more towards geared towards the fo main material don't try and do all this whole sort of cock and balls stuff you know basic meaning this nonsensical padding random sort of nonsense that they just put in it just doesn't make sense in conclusion i have to admit sonic 2 was not as good as i said as the first film i gave the first film like a 7 out of 10 i have to begin this film gets like a 5 out of 10 you know end notes is this as well i have to say end notes okay tells comes from the other side of the universe and uh, after sonic does the whole thing in the basketball basketball field the basketball the baseball field where he basically causes that whole blackout blackout okay and then he says i've been monitoring you since then you know he mentions the baseball field the blackout and what you did i'm only really assuming here he's been monitoring sonic and he, he figures out that's a baseball field and that sort of stuff as well but and then him learning about the earth and only intervening when he when knuckles uh, basically comes to earth and then tells has to come to help him it just didn't feel it didn't sit right with me it just felt just it just felt ob obvious this just, just felt really off-putting for me um really just weird and also i have to mention there's a scene there's a scene that really really pisses me off it really pisses me off the scene is this tells if you watch the first film tells has this whole thing where he's come through and he says you know um he, he doesn't want to, um, he basically says, I hope I'm not too late, um, I'm not too late, and he's not wearing a backpack, okay, they've used the same scene in this film as well, but in this scene, Tails has a backpack, why, why, why are you using the same scene, also, how could you make such a huge oversight, it really, really, really rubbed me the wrong way, yeah, this scene right here, Tails has no backpack, and the second film, the same scene, he has a backpack stupid fucking stupid really really pissed me off i uh, hope that that really really it hit some points off the scale for me it really 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 annoyed me uh, also um yeah idris elba idris elba was the voice of knuckles i did not know until the very end um i'm not sure if his voice being the voice of knuckles actually added anything to the movie but i mean whatever uh, i guess that's that um, I would have preferred seeing Eggman being Fat Eggman in this film, you know, he, he's like this, all the sort of skinny, scrawny sort of stuff. I would have preferred seeing a Fat Eggman, it would have been really cool to see Jim Carrey gain some weight in the second in the second movie, uh, being a bit fatter, you know, having been stuck in this fucking uh, mushroom, having been stuck in this mushroom world for so long, you know, eating these mushrooms and being basically Fat Eggman would have been cool. But we did get a sort of scene where Stone's flicking through like outfits for Eggman. He's got, he's got a cowboy outfit, he's got loads of different outfits. And there's an outfit where he's wearing some sort of fat suit. That was cool, seeing that. But yeah, uh, to end off, enjoyed the first film. Second film, sat through it, was okay. Kind of enjoyed it, but it was just more tailored towards kids, you know. But what can I say? Uh, that was my, uh, my reaction to, uh, I guess, Sonic 2 and... Uh, that's my review, I guess. Uh, tell me what you guys think. You know, what did you, what do you think about Sonic Two? Did you enjoy it? If you're watching this film, did you enjoy Sonic Two? Do you, do you agree with me? You know, what could have done? You know, maybe the the points I made were they valid? You know, let me know. Anyway, this has been Ace. As always, like, subscribe would be awesome, and uh, I'll catch you next time. As always, Ace out.